This is James K. Schwalf here. And if you're watching this video, you are the resistance. Okay, so the movie itself is set in 2018. For like, a six, I think it's 16 years after Judgment, Judgment Day happened. And the movie actually starts off prequely in 2003. You see Sam Worthington's character, Marcus Wright, pairing for executor and talking to Helena Bonnet Carter, who... He convinces him to sign over his body to um, to medical re to medical research. But now we're back in 2018, and we see John Connor played by Kristen Bale, and him and his buddy, him and his crew are going down, and they're off into Skynet to do him to do him to infiltrate Skynet. And they see a prison where they're where they're holding humans, and John comes over a scheme which they are make using the humans to turn them into terminators. So for instance, say I was one of these terminators, I would have human tissue all over me, then like on my face, underneath all my tissue, I would have the terminator skull and the terminator body. So I thought that was really cool. And then you see John Connor is in a big ex helicopter crash and nobody survives except him and this is awesome battle between him and this Terminator with no legs I'm, I'm not I'm not a real Terminator I don't know which ones are T600, T1000, T500 I don't really know I don't even know if that one exists I don't know what the, what which Terminator is are which I'm not a big nerd maybe I should have done some research but you know but I do really love the Terminator movies Okay, so let's get on. This really awesome battle, and he's there with the helicopter gunning this Terminator down. It, this, get, this Terminator doesn't want to die. He's just there fighting and like clawing him and doing everything to stop John Connor from killing him. Mm -hmm. Then as John Connor thinks he's the only one of these survive, Sam Worthington, Mar but the character Marcus Wright comes out of the, comes out of the mess, and he's he is going on a mission to Los Angeles on foot, where he comes by. Uh, Kyle Reese, not the same Kyle Reese who was in the original term in the Terminator, not the same guy who plays him this time. Same character, but no, not the same guy who plays him. I don't know who plays him either. And they, and they hear on the radio that John Connery says to them this: "You are the, if you hear this, you are the Resistance," which is really cool. Now they're off on a mission to find him. Now John Connor captures Mark, captures Marcus, and it turns out that Marcus is one of these Terminators with the human tissue wrapped over them, and Marcus really thinks that he's a human, and he'll do anything to stay human, he'll still fight for the humans, he'll kill Terminator still. So, John, so there's this big, this big scheme to blow up Skynet, where this signal would blow up Skynet, and John Connor is going to do his but he wants Marcus Wright to go into, go into Skynet, and save Kyle Reese, who's John Connor's dad, before they blow Skynet up, so it's a bit of a race against against time until the other good guys, but in a way, they are. Then there's an awesome battle between Alan Schwarzenegger, who's, this is a cameo, and Kristen Bell, which is really cool. I love Arnie. He was the good, best things about the last three movies. I really like him, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. He's just there with the really cool Elton John glasses. I mean, he, he can't be Arnold Schwarzenegger in Elton John. In, a, in Elton John. Sunglasses, you can't be that. I had quite a few horses in that, but who cares? And it's an awesome fight, and he really does look quite cartoonish. It looks an almost animated on a Schwarzenegger, which I, I was looking forward to the cameo. I heard about the cameo. I was really looking forward to that. So that was that was going to be really good. You now it's a big full throwdown showdown, and and we and I'm not going to spoil. I'm not. I'm not spoiling shit. Shift for you. We do not know if Skynet's gonna get blown up. I'm just gonna presume I've not seen the film, and I'm gonna say it. We don't know if Skynet is gonna get blown up, because I don't wanna spoil shit for you, because this is a good film. Now, the movie was better than I thought it would be. It didn't have high, high, high expectations, but it was a really good film. I'm definitely gonna buy this. I'm actually gonna buy this Terminator Quadrilogy on Blu ray. I don't actually own any of the movies, and I want to, because they're really good films. So that's James Q12, and remember, if you're watching this, you're the resistance, and if you want to be part of the big resistance, all you need to do is, is subscribe, add me as a friend, and comment below on your opinions, and everything like that. If you have an opinion and it's negative, oh, please don't, if it's really negative, and if you're correcting me on something, and you're saying something like, hey, this isn't right, but I still really love the movie, I think you did a great job reviewing it. If it's something like that, I'll find it. If it's something like, hey, this movie sucks, and you suck, that's the comments I don't like, and I'll probably just block you. 
But yeah, it was GMC12. Rate, subscribe, comment, add me from whatever you want to do. But please, no negative comments because it really gets in my nerves. I'll see you guys later.